Hi, I'm Brian, and welcome to Wisdom 2 Director's Cut How to Build a Team. In this video, I will go through how I set up a team of four members to uh, play the game's Supreme Jack difficulty. Uh, they are set up in different ways to fulfill uh, different roles in the game. I'll go through them one by one and explain how they are set up, uh, what skills they have, uh, uh, some of the quirk choices as well. Uh, so let's dive right in. The first one here is uh, Cherry Bomb. Uh, she is our rivalman. So let's take a look at this uh, the system first. So here you can see the attribute points system. So it is a uh, coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, and charisma. So this is uh, affectionately. Uh, related to as the classic system, so C-L-A-S-S-I-C. Uh, different uh, attribute points put into it uh, will result in uh, different derived stats. Uh, I, will go through, I won't go through each and every one of them, but I will uh, explain some of the more important ones, and uh, as well as why uh, I, I put like uh, 10 coordinations here and in one character but not the other so for this character uh, it is all about action points uh, she needs to reach uh, 12 action points uh, in the late game to make sure she can uh, fire two shots with the assault rifles so pushing coordination is the best way to acquire as much action points as possible for each attribute points uh, Others like uh, awareness, strength, speed, and intelligence are put to four uh, because for strength, speed, and intelligence, uh, you will want their uh, total to be in a factor of four. So why is that? Uh, because the action points you can gain is uh, two coordination uh, results in one action points, but uh, for the total of the strength, speed, and intelligence, each four points will also award you one action points as well. Uh, also, the strength uh, gives you a little bit more uh, hit points, a little bit more carry weights, so it is not a completely useless stat. Uh, intelligence also important to give you. Uh, enough skill points to carry some of the skills that I'm going to uh, explain later. Uh, four speed also en ensures that uh, this character can move at a certain speed that is uh, not too slow. It's, it's not quick, but it's not too slow. Uh, luck and charisma are put to one because I uh, luck is not really uh, very useful. Uh, I, I don't think anyone will disagree on it. Uh, it doesn't play a lot of roles in, in Wasteland 2. Uh, so, no, uh, you just put luck to 1 and call it a day. Charisma as well, uh, you will only want one character to have like a, a charisma of around, let's say, 6, uh, because you will want a uh, one character to have the leadership skills and char charisma increases the leadership radius. Uh, it also allows the character to level up a little bit faster, but that is never really a concern for this game. Okay, so for this rifleman, I've set it set her up so that uh, she'll have action points of eleven points. Uh, very important. Uh, in the end game, we'll we'll have a um, assault rifles that can fire two uh, burst shots with uh, six AP. So, eleven action points plus another perk that we are going to take will push this uh, character's action points to twelve, which allows if she does not move to fire two. Uh, first shots, which is very powerful. Uh, others of note is that uh, combat initiative. Uh, for combat initiative, you 
It determines how often your turn comes up in combat. Very important stats. I will say that uh, usually you need combat initiative of 12 from the start and just push it all the way to as high as possible. Uh, you can see here it's 11, uh, it is one less, but uh, with a certain perk choices, we'll push this uh, combat initiative to uh, 12 when we start the game. Uh, others are not really uh, very notable. I mean, skill points per level is of course notable. If you put a uh, 4 in intelligence, you can reasonably expect to max out 3 of these skills uh, here in the skill skill time uh, skill skill sets uh, if you put uh, four, uh, 8 into intelligence which allows you to gain uh, 4 skill points per level you can reasonably expect to have 4 max out skills and if you push it all the way to 10 which allows you to gain 5 skill points per level then you can uh, reasonably expect that you can have uh, 5 skills maxed out uh, in the in a very late game uh, for this person for this rifleman uh, of course weapon skills you you always want to max out uh, choose uses and assault rifles here a very well-rounded uh, weapons the most powerful weapons actually in uh, Wisdom 2 DC uh, she'll, she'll try to max it out uh, as quick as possible, but she'll also play another role, which is our uh, demolition guy. So uh, there are different uh, explosives which should be removed in the game, uh, like uh, landmines, uh, explosives attached to certain saves, boxes, things like that. Uh, you don't want to walk into all of them. You will die a very horrible death if you do so uh demolition skills i put it to one uh it will slowly level up as we uh, uh gain more skill points in the game and another is perception perception allows you to spot those traps uh particularly uh the the traps where like uh, a spring trap that uh, will will uh, ex explode with an explode uh, which is attached to an explosive so uh, makes sense to have uh, demolitions and perception together in a single character so that uh, she's like as a mind sweeper uh, when outside combat also she'll carry the uh, weapon smithing <coughs> uh, skills as well weapon smithing allows you to strip uh, weapons for parts uh, like uh, some, some of the weapon mods as well so very useful skills to have okay uh, perk choices uh, for for this uh, character for a rifleman uh, AP is very important uh, I've explained that I've pushed her to 11 AP uh, but someone will argue that uh, instead we can just select the quirk choice of uh, Brittle Bones, which uh, puts two, which adds two base action points to you, uh, uh, with the drawbacks of like uh, minus fifty percent base combat speed. I would disagree. I find out that uh, too many times I will want the. Uh, the character to move away from a uh, from an enemy that's too close for for them to to shoot uh, because you have like a, a hit penalty if you uh, use an assault rifle to shoot an enemy that is too close to you so you want to move away from it and then start shooting the the thing is if you have brittle bones you can't do that because you move very slowly so you either move away not far enough and then the the penalty is still there or that you move far enough but then you don't have uh, action points to do to uh, even fire a single shot as well 
So um, instead, I will go with the Ascetic. Uh, the benefit is to gain uh, 5 skill points and 1 attribute points. So remember that I've uh, said that this character will have uh, uh, in it, the combat initiative of uh, 12. This is where it comes from. It adds 1 attribute points at the game starts so that we can put it into let's go back here we can put it into awareness one more point of uh, awareness will allow us to have one more combat initiative so it bumps it to 12 okay the drawback is that you cannot equip any trinket items uh, there are many uh, trinket items in the game but I with the list uh, I, I don't think that there are a lot of uh, trinkets that are very combat focused and this character I really wanted to just focus it on uh, just making combat easier the, D, the DPS guy in, in the team so um, acidic it is all right the second character here is our leader uh, so the leader will have uh, a charisma of 6 very important because you want a uh, reasonable uh, leadership radius uh, if, if you are like uh, because he uh, because she is uh, uh, the one with the own, own uh, the only one who has the leadership skills uh, it doesn't make uh, much sense if you have like a uh, uh, leadership of 10 but then your uh, the, the leadership radius is just a very small uh, circle so you, you just have to clump up together to get the leadership bonuses uh, what leadership does is that uh, it increase uh, hit chances uh, so you can see here uh, if you are at le leadership level 2 you can increase nearby allies chance to hit by 4% very useful uh, also reduce chance uh, of followers to ignore orders in combat so you have uh, other companions uh, that is not uh, created here uh, you have a maximum of three of them and they have a certain percentage to like go rogue and uh, ignore your orders it could be very disastrous because they will just bomb rush into your enemy uh, leadership stops that but again if you need to like uh, give orders and things like that you need a uh, larger uh, leadership uh, radius so uh, as a six is reasonable I mean I've seen people who go all the way to 10 I, I think it is an overkill all right other stats of note uh, i've put a very low uh, number of coordination too uh, you can see here strength speed and intelligence are, are four eight and four uh, respectively so skill wise uh, maxing leadership and then uh, one weapon skills uh, should not be a problem uh, she'll also carry uh, one speech skills so uh, there are three speech skills in this game uh, hard ass smart ass and kiss ass um, you need them to get past certain uh, skill checks and uh, aside from smart ass i think i will also add hard ass at a later time because uh, originally hard ass will be carried by one of the companions that will recruit in the early game but um, I will expect her to leave the group uh, at certain point which uh, then our leader in this group will have to pick up the hardest skills also placing smartest skills uh, on, on the leader character is important because of the perk uh, here, if you have smart ass on level 5, you have the radiant personality. 
which is basically um, doubling the charisma uh, to like 12 because it's 6 and then you, you just double it to 12 what is it for? it is for recruiting certain compa uh, companions uh, so there are companions that requires you to have a total of like a certain number of charisma so if, if you have too low of a charisma uh, value you, you can recruit them so this helps on on that uh, let's see what else of course uh, because she's the leader so she will have the leadership skills here also you can see I've put uh, one level insurgent here uh, surgeon is very important. You preferably have a uh, level one surgeon on every character uh, at, uh, in the mid to late game because uh, if you have a character uh, uh, who dies in, in the combat or falls unconscious, let's say, and falls unconscious, not die, falls unconscious, um, if you don't have the surgeon skill, you cannot revive them. And if you cannot revive them, they will permanently die and they're gone. So uh, surgeon skill is very useful. Uh, you can have on have just a level one on all of the members. It doesn't uh, affect the successful chance because there is no successful chance. You just use an item and then uh, the member will get revived. Um, okay, let's take a look at the combat skills as well. Uh, for this leader, I have picked up uh, handguns. This is the only thing that I do not recommend you follow me to do this. Uh, because I, I really want to try out the handguns. It is, uh, it is said that handguns is among some of the most useless weapons in... Uh, in this game, especially in higher difficulties, because of its uh, low armor penetration, uh, you can see here low armor penetration, low damage, short range. Uh, not very good, but for this uh, this character, because uh, she is the leader of the group, she need to put points into charisma, so she will never have a lot of action points available for her. Uh, but handguns have a uh, have uh, this desperado perks uh, when you level it up to level nine, uh, which allows her to have a chance. Uh, is it desperado or gunslinger? I don't remember. There are uh, certain perks that allows for yes, desperado. Uh, that allows for uh, a chance to have a free shot. Uh, if your handgun is attacking the same target, if I remember correctly. Um, this greatly increases the number of shots uh, the leader can fire at enemies. So it also has a, a very high critical chances as well. So the way it works is that, or at least I think it works, is that uh, uh, the leader will go up and then debuff the enemies, buff our teammates, and then uh, with the handgun, she can pull out and then use precision shot, uh, precision strikes here. So you can see precision strikes to like uh, shoot their body to reduce the uh, armor uh, armor value, and then keep shooting with the handgun, which. Uh, prompts for more uh, free attack chances and then so so it allows uh, for a, like a, just a gunslinger kind of like the pow, pow, pow kind of uh, fighting style as well I'm not sure if it's good uh, if you are trying to build a, uh, uh, a leader character you can always go with an assault rifles uh, Bullets are so uh, plentiful that you don't really have to worry about it, uh, particularly after uh, the very early part of the game. Uh, but yes, I will go with the handguns and uh, 
you can later see how it plays out. All right. Okay, for uh, quirks. So I for quirks, I have uh, picked up delayed gratification for my uh, leader. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, quirks that is uh, suitable for her, but delayed gratification is actually one of them. Remember that I've mentioned that she will have to carry uh, some of the skills, uh, the uh, the hard ass uh, specifically, because uh, certain members will leave the group, which uh, will lose our access to that skills. It is for that specific reason that uh, if we have a uh, delayed gratification, then what what it does is that uh, it gains plus one skill point each level up after level 10 but the drawback is that minus one skill point each level up before level 11 so what it does is that like from one level one to level 10 you have uh, one less skill points to work with which is not a very big deal uh, I, I don't look forward to like uh, uh, push the handgun skills to to a high level, high high value, uh, very early in the game, uh, it just has to be serviceable to, and that's good for me. Uh, also, because of some of the perks, uh, the uh, speech skills are not very uh, skill points intensive. You might say, the level. Uh, she also does not have a lot of uh, skills that requires her to put a lot of skill points in in a very early game. So I would say delayed gratification is uh, is a good choice for her. Uh, later she will have more points to to work with. Uh, she can push the leadership uh, to a faster to, uh, faster to 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 max. Also. Uh, that she may carry out some of the uh, other skills as well, like the pre medic or the surgeon, to make her a sort of a backup healer of the group as well. In addition, I think that uh, the later gratification has some uh, 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 interactions, uh, positive interactions with uh, how she is designed because. She have a high charisma of six, so she will be the first in among the groups to reach level ten, uh, in the very early game. So it, it it is not by a lot, but it kind of negates the uh, the periods where you are, are having that uh, minus drawback as well. So yeah, so delayed gratification for our leader. All right, the third one is our combat medic. So our combat medic will uh, mostly be uh, healing our members uh, who have taken shots from enemies in combat. Uh, she will also be our surgeon, uh, reviving uh, fallen members as well. Uh, it also have like uh, remove. Uh, broken bones, uh, remove a disease kind of stuff as well going on but I do not uh, really expect him to be very useful uh, mainly it's just for like uh, 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 reviving fallen members but there are also certain skill checks uh, so that you really want uh, someone who is dedicated to field medic and surgeon as well as your so so she can be like your healer of sorts uh attribute wise i've set it up so that uh two in coordination uh coordination is a very horrible set in a way in that uh it gives you uh the most action points but not a lot of else uh it says that you can get like a maximum of a 10 percent uh bonus chance to hit with ranged weapons but honestly uh, you can try to look at uh, all the weapon skills like uh, it gives you like an 88% base chance to hit or, or uh, like a 90 chance 90% uh, uh, base chance to hit so the 10% uh, 
uh, chance to hit is not very noticeable uh, in any part of the game. Uh, also, we, we've set uh, 6 in strength. Uh, this particular uh, member, I, I expect her to uh, run around quite a lot because uh, she needs to run to other members to heal them or to even revive them. Uh, so it makes sense to have a quicker combat speed. Uh, so it allows uh, her to move further for each action point available. Uh, so maxing out speed is very important for her. Also, uh, she'll have the highest uh, value of strength in this group at six. Uh, she doesn't really use it to increase her uh, melee skills because she doesn't have any uh, uh, melee she doesn't use any melee weapons but instead uh, she will have more uh, uh, more carrying weight and uh, more hit points as well so makes her a little tougher uh, a little less uh, uh, likely to die in combat uh, and also all the med packs and all the reviving kits uh, will wait quite a bit uh, for her as well so she needs to have a more more uh, carry weight to carry those uh, med packs around all right uh, for quirks i have chosen the twitchy perk uh, the twitchy quirks so the benefits is that it's uh, plus 20% base combat speed. Um, it is good because uh, she can move even faster uh, in combat uh, she, with, with less AP so she can uh, effectively heal more. But in the drawbacks of a minus 10% base chance to hit, again, uh, uh, you it is not a very serious drawback. Uh, in a very late game, uh, in a very early game, sorry, not in a late game. Uh, in a very early game, uh, you might uh, notice that a minus ten percent base chance to hit could be a little bit punishing. But uh, as the game progress, you will have a lot more uh, chance to hit. Uh, you can have uh, weapon mods that increase your chance to hit as well to mitigate this drawback. Also, because uh, she is likely to be healing uh, and then running around, I do not expect her to uh, uh, be attacking as frequently as like our maybe our leader or our DPS main DPS uh, the the rifleman. Uh, also. The drawback of a uh, minus 10% chance uh, to hit can be mitigated by her choice of uh, weapon, which is a submachine gun. So the submachine gun uh, rewards a more uh, close combat style of uh, gameplay. You walk up to the enemy and then just shoot them. So the reduced uh, base chance to hit can be mitigated by you moving closer to your enemy so you can gain more chance to hit instead and then you can just come out uh, pop a shot at them and then run back to cover uh, so it creates a more dynamic uh, combat style I shall say so yeah all right so so far we have uh, the our main DPS, uh, our leader, uh, also our medic, and the last is our sniper. Uh, she's uh, here. He is not our. He is not just built as a a sniper because you, if you imagine the game where you play sniper, you're just like popping heads and that's it. Uh, you you're just uh, uh, dishing out damage. But for this team, uh, our sniper will also be the one who carries the most knowledge skills, uh, uh, most skills uh, compared to others. 
So you can see here I've put 10 intelligence into them. Uh, five skill points per level allow us to have, aside from the uh, sniper rifle uh, skills, I, I can have four more skills uh, available to level up to basically to max out uh, in the late game. I have picked alarm disarm, uh, computer science, lock picks, safe crack. So basically, the uh, Swiss Army knife. Of our team uh, also you can see here that uh, because he usually hangs back uh, hangs out in a, in a back like a, a sniper nest or something so he does not have a lot of strength uh, so does not have a lot of HP which works because uh, he's not going to be shot getting shot at uh not likely because uh in this game the ais uh usually just attack who is uh in front of them or closest to them anyway so a sniper is less likely to uh, have a direct uh, uh crossing fires with others uh you can see here the action points is 11 but if you start creating these uh characters and then just put points uh, like uh, 2 in coordinates, 4 awareness, uh, blah 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 you'll find out that the action points is line so where does the bonus uh, 2 action points come from? Uh, it is from a quirk choice as well uh, here you see alright, uh, of course uh, you have a sniper rifle for uh, weapon skills alright, the quirk choice uh, we have put Brittle bones in uh, in in this character. I've said that uh, this is not a very good uh, quirk for the uh, for our main DPSer, but for uh, our sniper, it is exactly what he needs. So uh, the drawback of a uh, minus fifty percent base combat speed is basically. Uh, negligible because uh, the sniper is never going to move anyway so the two uh, bonus base action point is basically a free bonus also uh, with the sniper when you max out to uh, sniper rifles level 10 you unlock the dead eye perk uh, so it is a dead eye sniper very powerful in that uh, dead eye reduces the AP cost of uh, sniper rifle shots by one if you have not moved in that turn so if you uh, hit the late game you have like this uh, antibacterial rifle that uh, shoots for 7 AP uh, you have like uh, 11 action points here so you can't make two shots obviously but if you uh, put a little bit of points into weaponsmith to a uh, Acquire the Tinkerer perk, which allows you to have one bonus AP for uh, wearing light armor, and then also obtain this uh, uh, Dead Eyes perk as well. So you can lower the 7 AP cost to 6, and then you also gain an extra action points as well. So 12 action points, if you never move, you can shoot twice. Uh, with that uh, sniper rifle so it is very 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 powerful if you actually have to move like uh, because you have a very slow uh, combat speed of 1.3 so uh, if you ever decide to move that turn uh, all your base points will be spent on moving anyway because uh, uh, once you move, you will lose the uh, Dead Eye uh, bonus that turn. Uh, you also uh, use up a lot of action points just to be moving around. Uh, so, uh, the Brittle Bones, I, I think, is uh, more suitable on a sniper uh, characters than like a rifleman, which might move quite a bit in combat. 
Okay, so that is how I de designed the, the whole team. Uh, you'll notice that I've missed some of the skills. Uh, so there is this toaster repair skills that I have not uh, picked up. Uh, mechanical repair as well. Uh, also the hard ass. Uh, because these skills can be carried uh, by some of our companions that we'll be recruiting later in the game. Uh, so we are skipping them for the character creation part and then we'll just uh, have the companions ca carry those skills for us. Alright, so that's it. Uh, these are the four characters I'm going to uh, uh, use to uh, go into the Supreme Jeff difficulty. Alright, this wraps up today's video. Uh, In the next video, we will uh, dive into the game and then uh, uh, see how they, <laughs> how well they work together. All right. So uh, I'm Brian, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.